What's up guys? I'm here to record a new video that I want to put out again. I know I just put out a new one, but I'm getting really into this. So here we go. Um, this this video I wanted to talk about my favorite weapons from Call of Duty Zombies. Now I've been wanting to do this since the release of Black Ops 3 because uh, it's generated so much hype and with with that I figured it would be good timing to talk about my favorite weapons. Now, I haven't looked at a, a ton of weapons from Black Ops 3, but um, I thought I'd at least overview all the ones from the past zombies. Um, I have played a little bit of Black Ops 3 zombies, but I don't know a ton about it to really analyze a ton of stuff, but I can provide a few, few little bits of insight. Now, first of all, um, for my top 10 zombies weapons, I wanted to first go into my top 4 favorite wall weapons. Now, first to start it off, this one goes all the way back to World at War, people. This one was always old reliable. You could just keep buying it and buying it and buying it. And it could it could really last you. This goes back to World at War, and this gun is called the Thompson. The Thompson, oh, it was just it's so good. You could always, like, the headshots could last so long. It was it was a perfect, awesome gun. You could, you could just keep training and training. It's very lightweight. It's very reloadable. And like, it's just right there for you. Like, you can actually buy it right where this uh, nice training spot in Notch Duran Toten is, which is like you can just keep running around in a circle there buying ammo. It's so nice. Um, I'm glad they've uh, they might not have kept the actual name, but they brought it back to the Tommy gun, which I thought was pretty epic. Uh, the next gun I want to look at is uh, the Stakeout. Uh, this is from Black Ops One. Uh, They've actually kind of, sort of brought this brought this into uh, Black Ops 3, the giant with the shotgun you get uh, at the beginning, uh, which I love. You know, they're bringing back everything somewhat at least, so that's good. But the stakeout, this was originally in, in Black Ops 1 Zombies. It, it was pretty epic. I used to buy ammo for it all the time. Very powerful. Um, uh, if, you always, if you always need to get out of a jam, you could just buy that, and it would be very helpful. Uh, it it was quite powerful for a long time too, so I really loved it. Uh, the next next gun I want to look at is the trench gun. Oh, this gun, uh, it's just it's so much awesomeness in one gun. Like when you when you start out in World at War, and you just need a gun to get you through, whether it be before you get to the mystery box or not, this gun you could always rely on. It, it was great for constantly killing dogs. You know, you get to round five. By that time, you have the trench gun. It's awesome for killing dogs, and like you can just keep using it. And it's pretty effective up until the late rounds. You know, eventually it'll get ineffective, but it's just it's just the best starting wall weapon you could buy. Pretty much, it's just awesome. Uh, I'm just gonna say that probably my favorite wall weapon. But here I'm going in order of the games. Uh, th the last favorite wall weapon that I have is the AN-94. Now this gun is just a wall weapon. It may not seem that powerful, but if you pack a punch it, it really is powerful. Um, it carries 50 bullets per magazine, which is really nice. And let me put it this way, on round 30, it's a two-shot kill to the head, which is freaking awesome. Um, at for 50 bullets. You could kill hundreds of zombies. I used that on round 50 when I got to round 50 on zombies and it it still proved somewhat effective. It took it took a little bit to kill them but pretty much anything would, would on round 50. So that's how that went but honestly yeah those, those are all my favorite weapons because they're just that awesome. Uh, after that you know I wanna I wanna talk more about you know regular box weapons. Now these are the really awesome weapons that you can get um, the first one I want to look at is uh, the, the classic, the best wonder weapon, the one that, that amazed everyone, the wonder waffle. Now, uh, I can provide some insight for this. Uh, it wasn't as good in the giant. I, have, I actually played with a friend recently, and it, it absolutely sucked. I thought, like, it doesn't show, like, them getting electrocuted as well, and it doesn't, like, kill a lot at once. It looks like they definitely nerfed it down a, one, a bunch. But if you ever get the Wonder Waffle, get it on um, Darius uh, from Black Ops 1 or World at War, because oh, 
It is so awesome. You could you could literally just train a bunch of zombies and then just take out that whole entire wave pretty much with a couple shots. And you could be on like on round forty and it it would just get at you have a jam. The one repercussion about it is it it can uh, hurt you if it's uh if it's um too close too close to you. That's the only problem. But it it is an awesome gun, I will say that much. It just it just pones them no matter what what round it is, it will will guarantee kills. At least on the old one. Uh the next gun I wanna look at is the ray gun. Actually let's take a look at um Let's take a look at the thunder gun first. The thunder gun. Oh, this this gun. This gun was a beast when it all started. Like it would just get you out of jams anytime you need it. Like like when people get this, people get so jealous of the other player. But it is an awesome gun. Like especially pack a punch. It's not as great when it's not pack a punch, but when it is, it is powerful you know you can easily just switch to it and it gets you out you know that's that's really an advantage of uh, zombies weapons uh, the next gun I want to look at is actually the the Vertolic Withering from Mob of the Dead oh oh I don't know why they didn't bring this gun back it is so awesome I mean the blunder get is awesome but the Vertolic Withering is better because what it does is it it leads the zombies away from you basically is what it does um, it, it basically sends shots that somehow distract the zombies just to get you out of the jam and it it is pretty powerful it doesn't have too much splash damage so that's good but like honestly you could just keep firing that thing and it could it could blow through hordes of zombies uh, just, just gotta be careful on the ammo though because that can get you really screwed but it's an it's an epic gun it's just really cool what it does. Um, the next gun I want to look at is the Paralyzer from Buried. Oh, now this gun, this is this is where it started for me. But like, this is where it really got. This is the gun that really got me going. Like, I uh, I made it to around 50 to 51 with this gun. And if you have uh, this perk, I forget what it's called, uh, Vulture's Aid. It, it provides this green mist, and if you use the pa paralyzer, it can literally lead. It can literally slow the zombies down, and it's, it's just. It might be a little OP, but honestly, you can't you can't deny its its epicness because it's just so awesome. Like, like who can argue with a gun that can slow down enemies? Like literally, like that is like the key to being good at zombies. Like. If you're just like stand there, like you can just stand there and slow some zombies down. It's just nice. Um, the next gun I want to look at is uh, a very late classic, but this one that was brought in was epic. It it is the beast of all guns. It's a sequel to the ray gun Mark II. To the ray gun, I mean, the ray gun Mark II is a sequel to the ray gun. Now the ray gun is not good, guys. Honestly, it's it has a lot of splash damage. It's you got to be really careful with it. Uh, I know PhD flopper will help, but I don't I don't normally get that. And honestly, it's not that powerful. But honestly, the ray gun Mark II though, if you get that gun, you will be set for life. You can just rely on that. It's it's a one shot kill for a long time. It's really nice. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Um, if you get that, <laughs> your life will be complete. Basically, that's what I would think. Um, but that about does it for my top ten zombie weapons. I actually left out uh, another wall weapon that's uh, notable. Uh, the MP40. This was this was the gun that would always help me get started in the Black Ops One zombies too, because um, it would just uh, when I was progressing through the map of Kino Der Toten especially, I would buy this weapon and it would really help me before I could get a box weapon. Uh, I could always rely on it even without pack punching it. And a lot of times I pack punch it and it would also be really nice. But yeah, uh, so that's all the list I have. But that's gonna do it for the video for now. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to see more. Um, I hope uh, I can get like gain a community here, and I hope to be putting out better videos soon that are better quality. Like uh, I might start editing soon, but um, yeah. Um, I hope you guys like this, but otherwise, you guys take care and have a good day.